Hello, welcome to Help Your Math. Today we will be solving problems which contain absolute value. In the first problem, uh, we must remember that whatever is in the absolute value brackets can be either a negative or a positive. So we can rewrite this problem into two parts. Now to solve this, uh, we will add a positive 5 to both sides. We get an answer which is 13. And for this one, we'll do the same. The answer is minus 3. So both of those our values are a correct answer to this problem. In the second problem, what we want to do is we want to uh, have an absolute value and nothing else on one side so that we can then do the same thing as we did in the first problem. So for that, the first step would be to add a negative 11 to both sides. What we get will be and now we can divide both sides by minus 5. Now that we're left with this we can do the same thing with it in the first problem. So remember, whatever's inside the absolute value brackets can be either a positive or a negative. So we write it out in two parts. So to solve this, first we must add a 9 to both sides. We get 2w14, and then we divide both sides by 2. In this part, we do the same. First, we add a 9 to both sides, and then we divide both sides by 2. So we get an answer 7 and 2. Okay. So in this problem, once again, we want only absolute value to be on the left side of the, of the equation. So what we do is we subtract 8 from both sides. Uh, 8 minus 8 is 0, and 4 minus 8 is minus 4. And what we're left with is... Uh, minus 4, and we know that absolute value cannot have a negative uh, value, so this problem will not have a solution. Now let's go back to the previous problems and uh, draw the answers on the number line. So let's draw a number line. Let's put the answers on it. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, and 1, two. Thirteen. And for this one as well, we will draw a number line. This is it. So we finished the number lines. Now we're just going to put the dots where the answers are. And, here. and since the last problem doesn't have a solution, we don't need to draw a line. 
Hello, welcome to Help Your Math. Today we're going to have a problem uh, which contains absolute values. So remember, uh, the value inside absolute value brackets can be either a positive or a negative. So we will rewrite this as Now, it's easier to write this out in two parts. So I will write this as and so for this one, first thing we want to do is um, subtract 4R from each side. So 7R minus 4R is going to be 3R minus 3 equals 15. Now we want to add 3 to each side. We'll have 3R minus 3 plus 3, 0. So 15 plus 3 is 18. And now we will divide both sides by 3. So R is going to be equal to 6. For this side, we want to open the parentheses first. So, first thing we'll do is add 4R to each side. We'll have 11R is minus 15. Now, we will add 3 to each side. And now we'll divide both sides by 11. So our answer will be minus 12 over 11. Now we need to draw a number line and show those points on it. So I'll draw a number line here. zero. So our first answer was six. Six and we'll put a dot here. And our second answer was minus 12 or 11 and this answer is going to be between minus one and minus two. So you can write minus one and then put a dot right after it and write minus 12 over 11. So this is a similar problem to the last one and what we'll want to do first is open up the absolute value brackets and uh, this inside will have a positive and a negative value so we'll write Now we want to write this as two parts again. So I'll write here first thing we want to do is subtract 8D from both sides. So we'll have 3 minus 12D equals 13. 
and now we want to subtract 3 from both sides. So we'll have minus 12d is equal to 10. And now we will divide both sides by minus 12. So we'll have d equals minus 10 over 12. Now for this side, first thing we want to do is open up the parentheses. So we'll have minus 8d minus 13. And then we do pretty much the same thing. First we add uh, 8d to both sides. we'll have 3 plus 4d equals minus 13. Now we'll subtract 3 from both sides. We'll have 4d equals minus 16. And now we'll divide both sides by 4. We'll have d equals minus 4. Now we'll put both of those answers onto a number line. Our first answer, a minus 10 over 12, is going to be between minus 1 and 0, so you can just put it right, right to the left of 0. And our second answer is minus 4. So we will just count 3, 4, minus 4. And put a dot on every answer. Remember, you can reduce this answer further, uh, and it will be minus 5 over 6.